In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the calendar events and activities slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added the calendar for the month of January 2022. And then uh, you, I need to find out uh, what are the different events are there in the month of January. So for that, when I click, you can see here the first event I've got on third, you can add your detailed text and then 14th, you can see the font color also is getting changed. Then it's 19th and then 24th, something like this. And I've created one more slide with a slight uh, difference. You can see here I've put the month like this and the same thing it goes like this. So depending on your requirement, you can increase any month of your choice. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. However, with the older version also, you can create this template. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert table, I'm going to insert seven rows and seven columns. So you can see here this one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And below also I'm going to make it seven. All right, and then select this one. This has been inserted. And then you can go to the layout and you can give the height as six and the width as seven. All right. Then I'm going to select all this go to the design tab remove the banded rows and header row it looks something like this and then i'm going to select the header row and you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give this much and if you want to reduce the width you can just reduce it something like this and now i'm going to select again the full table go to the layout and click on the center vertically and here i'm going to click on the center then go to home and you can choose the font area now i'm going to type starting with sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday now the black is not visible so i'm going to select make it white and if you want you can make it bold also so now this uh, calendar I'm making for the January 2022. So I can go to insert shapes, add that here one shape. I'm going to add the top corners rounded. Draw a shape, something like this shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. You can give any color of your choice, make it fully curved from one end. Go to rotate. I'm going to rotate right 90 degrees and I'm going to put it here. And for this, I'm going to type the text January 2022. Make it bold, increase the size, make it aerial and put it here. You can see here something like this. Now the first day of the, uh, the, the month end starts on Saturday. So I'm just going to type one, two, three, four, you can just quickly type it so let me just finish this one quickly so you can see here i have typed all uh, the days of january and if you want you can make it bold also let me just select all this one without the top header and you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give a light gray and then increase the size maybe to 28 it looks something like this and this uh the other days i'm just going to fill this one with you can see here shading i'm going to use this shading and here also at the bottom i'm going to use this shading so you can see here my calendar design is ready now it's time to add the events and if you like to give some shadow effect also you can do it so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill make it black right mouse click go to format shape under fill increase the transparency here and then go to the effects soft edges increase the soft edges here and then send this to back 
all right so this way you can add the shadow effect then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice then send this to back and then i'm going to add one more shape which i'm going to use this one which is rectangle top corners rounded and i'm going to put it here make it more curved shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color again of your choice send this to back and there you can add your events so i'm just going to type events and activities events and activities again white font make it bold if you want and increase the size and then i'm going to add the activities here go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle here so depending on your requ uh, requirement you can add that many uh, boxes shape outline no outline shape will make it white and the background color if you want to change you can just change to some light color all right so now this is the first one hold the control shift key together so i'm going to add maybe four events you can see here these are the four events and select all these four boxes go to format align and distribute vertically so that equal spacing will be uh, given between this one so now here you can add the text I'm just going to tap add your event here all right and then any color of your choice you can select and again I'm going to select Arial maybe we don't need or you can just choose maybe some gray color also which are all right this also I'm going to bring it down by holding the control shift key together you can see here all right now what I'm going to do is for example I, I want to add some event for specific dates so for four days I want to add some events for example I want to add for uh, 3 13 18 or 27 something like that okay so first of all I'm going to insert one text box and I'm going to say 3 here and then I'm going to type Arial if you see the font I have used Arial and the size is 28 so I'm going to put the same size here 28 all right right aligned and then bring it here on number three reduce the size and exactly put it it should not be you know the same color I'm going to give all right something like this it should not feel that okay you have added one more there press ctrl d to duplicate now i'm going to add for maybe 13 so i'm going to add 3 and again exactly i'm going to put it at the top and properly align it so 13 and then i'm going to go for maybe say 18 all right and then again here also i'm going to put it exactly on top of that and then i want to put for 26 for example so 26 something like this you can see here just do something like this so once this is done i'm going to insert one more oval shape hold the shift key so that you get a perfect oval shape all right here you can or you can make it maybe one one shape outline make it red and shape fill make it no fill and then i'm going to put it on the third because this is my event here maybe you can reduce the size sorry you can reduce the size it's got selected that's the reason let me just select this one hold the shift key yeah you can see here on third press ctrl d for 13th ctrl d then i did for 18th and 26th something like this all right so you can see here now i have added the four uh, events which i want to put it here 
so now the next thing is i want to bring these dates here and then the event should be visible all right so let's do that animation part now so for i'm going to select the the third the, the number three the text which i've added the number so now close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation scroll down you can see the custom path here select the custom path and then i'm clicking here and one i'm going to click it here double click this one so it goes something like this all right now if you want you can just align it properly now let me just zoom in and you can see here click on this green and then just drag it to the right place here you can see here something like this and here also i want to put it something like this in the center all right and double click this one remove the smooth start smooth and timing make it very fast and click ok so it goes fast something like this all right now the second one i'm going to add the animation on this circle for this add animation more entrance effect i'm going to select basic zoom and click ok and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here all right and then once this is done if you want to change the color of this text also it can be done you can go to the add animation you can go to the more emphasis effects and you can give some different font color can you see here the font color here and click ok double click this one and the font color of any choice you can select maybe you want a font color of maybe this one and timings make it very fast also and click ok it should happen with previous so if i play now you can see here the color got changed also now once this is done i'm going to select this box add animation you can select the wipe effect here and wipe effect make it from the left and this should happen after previous and the same thing it should go with the text also the same i'm going to select wipe effect from left and this should happen with previous so if i play now it happens like this you can see here when i click it happens like this now it's very easy for me to do the rest of the animations first of all i'm going to select the number three go to the animation painter and click on 13th so but 13 is going here now it's only thing is you need to just arrange it and put it here like this all right and then i'm going to select this part click on this one and then i'm going to choose this click on this and then the text part like this see it's very easy so now when i click the first comes here the the activity that is the event happening on third and then the 13th one like that you can just add the animation for 18th and 26th so this is just example i've created for january 2022 you can create for any month of your choice